guys, welcome to another video. Have uh, you seen the title yet? This is a response to Nova Box Friday Foursome. Now, I was watching Wee Bob's video earlier on, um, and it just got me thinking, you know, when I first saw it, it was a uh, pick four female protagonists in video games. And when I first saw the title, I thought, well, I'm not going to do a response to that because I don't really know any other than maybe a really obvious one. But I watched Wee Bob's video and it kind of got me thinking and I realised I actually do know four female protagonists. Apologies about the absolute pants video. As you can see, I'm driving. Don't worry, I've got my camera uh, or my phone stuck onto one of these little uh, rubber sucker things. So I'm perfectly, keep, I'm perfectly uh, safe driving. Anyway, yeah, just to kind of get back on track. Hey, uh, let me think. The first one, again, I'm going to go with one that we Bob's picked. I don't want to, I shouldn't really be saying that because it's like a spoiler. Um, Lara Croft. Now, Lara Croft is probably one of the most influential, not just a female video game character, one of the most influential video game faces of anything. Yeah, you've got your Mario, your Mario, uh, Super Mario, whatever you want to call him. You've got your Sonic the Hedgehog, then you've got Lara Croft. Now, I mean, when she came out on the play... No, I actually tell a lie, I was going to say the PlayStation, I believe Tomb Raider came out on the Sega Saturn first. But most people always associate it with the PlayStation. It came out on the Sega Saturn first. You've heard it here. So yeah, Lara Croft, she came out, she was released on, in Tomb Raider by... I can't even remember the name of the company that released it, doesn't matter. And, you know, I mean, the game itself was a phenomenal game. I wouldn't play it now because it looks shite, it really does. But back in 1995, we'd never seen anything like it in all our life. And, you know, who can forget the iconic uh, going around the corner and there's this big T-Rex chasing you and you have to end up running into a cave to get away from it. That was one of the real iconic uh, moments in video games for me. And yeah, they picked Lara Croft. I remember, I honestly remember at the time thinking, why, why have they gone for a female? And I felt slightly disappointed. But you know what? I soon wore them to her, for obvious reasons. <laughs> You know, it's, she's a, a very, very strong character. Um, the fact that she looked really nice probably helped. And the fact that she was able to do all these somersaults. So yeah, she became a very strong character. And you know what, it was actually nice to have a female character in the lead role. Rather stupidly, there are some people who will not play games, you know, male video gamers. They'll not play games if you're playing the part of a female character. What a lot of shite, you know. You'll quite happily play, I was going to say Donkey Kong and play the part of a, a monkey, but you'll play you'll play any number of games where you play the part of an animal or an alien, so why wouldn't you want to play the part of a female character? So yeah, my number one, these are in no particular order by the way, my number one is going to be Lara Croft. Number two, now it's a game that I would love to love, and I do like it, I just don't play it because I'm absolutely crap. When I play it, it's completely random. I mash the buttons, I've got no skill at all, and it is Street Fighter 2, and the character is Chung Lai. Now, Street Fighter was a game, when it came out, it was full of all these muscle-bound eh, Adonis, is that the right word? You know, male characters. You had Zangief, you had Ken with the flowing locks and big muscles, you had... Ryu, you even had, uh, what's his face, well you had, uh, I can't even remember the name of him, it was Balrag, although he came out in the second one I think it was, or was he in the second, ah he was in the second one, he was a boss, but yeah it was all these real macho type males, and I just thought it was an absolute stroke of genius that they put in Chung Lai, who could basically crush it to death with her uh, epic thighs, and her, as her spinning bird kick, so yeah, you know, she was, a, she was basically taking guys on at their own thing. She was getting involved in a male-dominated... Uh, I'm trying to put my hand in front of the steering wheel. She was taking part in a very, very male-dominated video game. And she was kicking ass big style. So yeah, Chung Lai would be my number two. 
my number three, and I've completely forgotten what it was going to be. Um, yeah, I'm going to go for. Uh, I'm going to go for Ellie out of The Last of Us. Now, The Last of Us, I don't mind admitting, is one of my favourite video games of all time. Not just you know current generation, whatever. It's one of my favourite video games of all time. I think it's an absolute cracking game. I know some people think games like that are just movies, interactive movies. Possibly. It possibly is. But when a game is put together with so much passion, so much backstory, you really get involved with the characters. Uh, and Ellie, I don't want to have any I don't want to give you any spoilers, but Ellie was basically a character. She was a young girl um, who appeared in the first Last of Us. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of tension between her and the her and the main sort of character. But you know, after about an hour, you really start to get into the characters. You start to really warm to them. Um, and then you know, and I don't want to give you any spoilers. Ellie takes part in the, the set. She's like the main character of the second Last of Us, which I have to say I've only played for about 20 minutes. I really, really need to resolve that because that's just silly. Um, but yeah, absolutely fantastic character. Um, a strong character, again, you know, you could quite easily have gone for a young little kid. But again, and again, without any spoilers, they've, there's a, you know, they've gone for a, a female character who's not the norm, whatever, um, and I think that's, I think, I take my hat off to, uh, to the company that made, uh, made the game. But yeah, Ellie's a fantastic character, she's strong, she's cocky, she's got all the skills, uh, and She's just a really, really nice character to play. And the last one, and I, you know what, I completely forgot what I was going to, what the character was. Um, I can't honestly remember. <laughs> That's terrible. I need to think of it. Think, 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 think. I'm just going to pause this for a second while I think. Right, I remember. <laughs> My uh, fourth protagonist female is going to be... Maria in uh, Jet Set Willie because yeah here's here's a woman who's so headstrong that you've got this pompous little bastard uh, Manic Miner or Jet Set Willie he's made all this money he lives in a mansion he thinks he can do whatever he wants he's just had the biggest party of his life and he wants to go to his bed and Maria's like oh you get the bloody place cleaned up before you come back to bed uh, yeah can you really get a, a, a stronger character than that? I don't think so. So yeah, Maria out of Jet Set Willy is my fourth female protagonist. As always guys, thank you very much for watching.